So supervised and unsupervised learning handles different data in different way. For example, we have two kind of data set. One is continuous data set. Another one is categorical data set. When we deal with continuous data set, or it must be in numbers, continuous numbers, if we use supervised learning, we can use regression. For example, the method would be linear regression or polynomial regression. And also, we can use prediction using decision tree and random forest. However, for the time being, we are focusing on classification. So, techniques that can handle categorical data would be decision tree, k nearest neighbor, logistic regression, naive base, and support vector machine. For unsupervised learning, if we are dealing with continuous data set, we may use clustering techniques such as k-min or diana while if we are dealing with categorical data we can use association analysis for example a priori fp growth and also hidden markov model so unsupervised learning will be covered in the next topic this topic we are going to cover only on supervised with classification techniques using decision tree now let us just focus on classification there are many examples of classification tasks for example number one would be predicting tumor cells as benign or malignant number two classifying credit card transactions as legitimate or fraud Number three, classifying secondary structures of protein as alpha helix, beta sheet, or random coil. Number four, categorizing news stories such as finance, weather, entertainment, sports, and etc. So if we take a look at this example, can you determine what are the class? Yes, it will be benign or malignant legitimate or fraudulent alpha helix beta sheet or random coil finance weather entertainment and sport so these are the classification application one would be direct marketing and number two would be fraud detection. So this will be covered in the slide as well. So you may read this on your own. Now, in prediction, there, there is a problem whereby there is differences between classification and numeric prediction. Remember previous slides we have seen on supervised learning, okay? So we have seen prediction and classification here. So in classification, what you must aware of is classification predicts categorical class label. It must be either discrete or nominal. Okay. Well, Numeric prediction models continuous value function. For example, it want to predict unknown or missing values or we can also say that it want to predict numbers. Okay, 